Well, yeah, you know, it's just, you know, we have, since last year, every time we've played them, it's always been a close game. Uh, it's, we knew it was going to be a battle. Uh, when we play non-MLS affiliated teams, it's, it's always because they're, they're older, they're more experienced guys, so we always know that we have to, besides our tactical plan, we have to come with a physical aspect of it. And I thought our guys stepped up today and, and we played we played with them. Um, it's, it wasn't an easy win, like I said. They're a good team, you know, there's a reason why they're uh, in the top half of the um, the Western Conference right now. Uh, we respect them, and but we came out, we had a game plan. I think the guys stuck to it. We were unfortunate not to score in the first half. I thought we had uh, the better of the play, but you know, we're going at halftime down 1-0. So we talk about some things, we tweak some things a little bit at halftime, and the guys came out and, and answered. You know, the guys came in who were subs and, and, and did what they had to do. And you know, tonight it was a complete win by, by the team. This was a team win. Zach Mathers really seemed to, to change the game in your guys' favor. What did he bring to the field that maybe wasn't there before? Well, I mean, Zach and Farfran, they both play similar. Uh, we didn't think we could, because of the nature of how Colorado played, we didn't think we could play with both of them in the midfield at the same time. So we decided to go with Farfran. I thought Farfran gave us a good 60, 60 minutes, but then Zach came in and did his thing, you know, like he's been doing for us all year. That's orchestrating our offense. You know, he gets the ball, find the guys wide, you know, find Myron Samuel, find Darwin Jones, those guys. And that's how we try to play. You know, we try to play one and two touch through the midfield and then get into our wide guys and and, and get into the um, get the ball into the box. So I thought he responded well coming off and playing, you know, for uh, what, 30, 35 minutes. So, but we expect that from Zach. Yeah, yeah. One of the things we talked about also is, you know, in every game we thought like we had 20 minutes there or five minutes here, but we never put together a complete 90 minutes. And I thought tonight we did, you know. Obviously, you're not going to have the ball for 90 minutes, but uh, we just had to make sure that when they had the better of the play, we didn't allow them to score. Uh, and then when we had the better of the play, that we put the ball in the back of the net. I thought Vic took that really well. I thought Myron came in, found, found him. We went to two, in the, two up top, so Myron and, and Vic was playing as a tandem the last few minutes the last 10 15 minutes and uh, it was a combination between both of those guys and uh, Vic took it well put it up you know a very good goal Darwin Jones got his first of the year what did you think of his ball? well it, it was one of those ones where you know it was a good shot by I think Schweitzer shot it and he was there to tap it in and, and that's what you know goal scorers do they, they get it however they can and so maybe that you know jump starts his, his season and uh, and the floodgates open, so to speak. But um, you know, he's a player. He's a young player from our academy that you know we're still working on to make sure he develops and make sure he gets better. And uh, all we could hope for that guy like that is, is improvement. But you know, maybe today getting that first goal starts uh, his goal scoring uh, spree for us. Do the three points today change your goals for the season? No, I mean, uh, our main thing uh, is, is the development of these players, you know. So, yes, we want to win games uh, because I think that's part of the development, but we're more uh, concerned about how well these guys are developing, how fast they're developing. And if you look at the football that we've played from, you know, when we start this season to now, it's getting better. And so that's what we're really concerned about, that the players individually are getting better and as a team, we're getting better. You know, we've just been unfortunate the past few games not to come up with more points than we, had, we did. But, you know, like I said, it's not all so much about the point. So the goal of the season is to just make sure we develop these guys and fast track these guys to the first team because this is the wave of the future for the Sounders. And, you know, we got to make sure that we develop these guys uh, rapidly.